One way to make your video stand out to viewers and tell them that your video is what they want to watch is with a custom thumbnail. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design, create, and upload a custom thumbnail for your videos using PowerPoint. When you upload a video to YouTube, the thumbnail is just a random frame from the video, as you see in this older video of mine. This particular video, which shows how to measure salinity with an instrument called a refractometer, was uploaded before custom thumbnails were enabled on my YouTube account. Once my account was verified, however, I then had the option to use custom thumbnails. So, I'm going to use this older video to walk you through the steps to making a thumbnail. Let's begin with a few suggestions for designing an effective thumbnail. First, take a look at other thumbnails for your topic and see what other video creators have used. Here you see some thumbnails for other videos about how to measure salinity. You should try to design a thumbnail that stands out from the crowd. Second, select an image that best represents your video. This image should be distinct but not misleading and preferably shows what your video is about. In general, follow the rule of thirds to create a more interesting visual, but mainly to allow space for text, which I'll get to in a minute. Third, resize and crop your image to ensure a good quality thumbnail that also meets specifications suggested by YouTube. YouTube suggests an image size of 1280 by 720 pixels, which is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. You should keep the file at 2 megabytes or less and in an acceptable format such as JPEG or PNG. Fourth, add text to your video which informs the viewer and highlights what the video is about. Include keywords that people will use to search for videos. Generally, you want, you want to strive for a combination of an informative image and eye-catching text. If you don't have a good photo to use, you can still make an attractive thumbnail with a solid background and graphics. Now that we know what we're shooting for, let's pick an image. You might have a still image that you took during filming that was designed to be the background for a thumbnail. But if you don't, you'll have to extract an image from your footage. You can do this in your movie editing program by exporting a single frame from the footage. I'll use iMovie to illustrate the process. Scrub through your footage to find the frame you want. I'll pick this one and add a segment to the project timeline. Then use the inspector to shorten the clip. Then export with QuickTime or whatever procedure works with your version of iMovie or movie editing software. You want to select Movie to Image Sequence, then select JPEG and save to your desktop or target folder. Now you see there are five images that were exported. They are all the same, so pick any one of them to use. Another way to extract an image is to open the video file on your desktop and take a screenshot. Here's the original footage opened in QuickTime. Again, just scrub to the frame you want to capture and use the keyboard shortcut to taking a screenshot. This is Command-Shift-3 on a Mac. Now, the screenshot is uh, saved to my desktop and I can open it in a media viewer and make any necessary adju adjustments. Let's now go to PowerPoint. The first step is to open Page Setup and change the aspect ratio. The default is 4 to 3. You want to change it to 16 to 9. You should, of course, be using the landscape orientation. Next, select a blank layout. Now you can import your background image. Go to Insert, Photo, and Picture from File. If you did not prepare your photo prior to importing, you still can do some optimizing in PowerPoint. You can make corrections in brightness and contrast, or to sharpen or soften the image. The next menu item allows changes in color saturation and tone, or even to recolor the image. There is also an option to remove the background, which might be useful in some cases. However, this function is difficult to use in PowerPoint. 
Photoshop, if you know how to use it, works better for removing backgrounds. Finally, you may need to crop the image. Once the background image is set, you want to add some text. Text works better if the background is a solid color, but I wanted to show you how to deal with a busy background. So add a text box as you normally would in PowerPoint. You have many fonts to choose from. Select one that is easy to read. I'm going to pick Arial Bold and type in uh, the first part of the title. Then select a size and colors that stand out. I'll use a bright yellow. Then I'll select text effects and add an outline to the text. And you can increase the line weight to make the text stand out more. I'm going to write justify the text. You can also tighten up the spacing between letters and also make the lines uh, closer together if you wish. Now I'll just copy that text and retype the next line. You can play around with the font size and color to get what you want. So here I'm trying to make the keywords stand out by changing the color and making the uh, size of the text larger. Keep uh, copying and pasting the text uh, to finish out the title. As you try out different text styles and sizes, Periodically zoom out to see if the title is readable when it's the size of a thumbnail. I'll uh, align the text boxes so they are even. Finally, if you have a busy background that makes the, uh, the text difficult to read, here's a trick to help. Select all the text and then add a black fill. Then use fill effects to change the transparency. This will shade the background slightly so that the text shows up a bit more. The next step is to export this as an image. Select Save and change the format from Presentation to JPEG or PNG. Take a look at Options to make sure the image dimensions are what you want and then save the file. The final step is to attach the custom thumbnail to the video. Here I'm in my YouTube dashboard and here's the video. Select Edit and then Information. Here you see the three random frames plus a button for the custom thumbnail. Click this button and find the image file. It's now uploading. And let's save those changes. Now you can see that the default frame has been replaced with a custom thumbnail. And here's what the custom thumbnail looks like in a search of YouTube. So now you should be able to design, prepare, and upload custom thumbnails for your videos. As you've seen, the process is not that difficult or time-consuming, especially in PowerPoint. A final tip is to create one or more templates in PowerPoint, which can be used to quickly create custom thumbnails for all your videos. Well, that's about it. This is Karen McKee, the Scientist Videographer. Thanks for watching.